New Zealand's parliament has voted almost unanimously in favor of changing the country's gun laws. This less than a month after a mass shooting left 50 people dead. The bill, as of today, is now law. Members of parliament voted, get this, 119 to 1 in favor of the ban on military-style semi-automatic weapons. The prime minister telling lawmakers they were giving, quote, a voice to those killed in the Christchurch massacre. The Prime Minister describing it as, quote, the darkest of days in New Zealand's history. And though it happened thousands of miles away, the pain of that day echoes throughout our region, too, even still. And for those who are Muslim, they say the only thing to do now is move forward and pray for peace. Few things are more precious to Najad Halilovic than his faith. I know that God saved me, that he gave me another chance. The president of the Islamic Society of Vermont has seen things most of us have only seen in nightmares. My faith means everything for me because I supposed to be dead many times. I saw for one night, for one hour, the Serbians killed 200 Muslims on front my eyes. That faith has gotten him through his darkest days, escaping Bosnia with his wife and children for a better life. During the war in Bosnia, I was in concentration camp. I didn't have place to leave. My parents' house was occupied by the Serbians. <laughs> Vermont has been Najad's home now for 20 years, and for that, He's thankful. We are here, you know, we are, we are here and we are part of this community, you know, and, and we, I'm glad that we are here. Not everyone is so lucky. <coughs> Though what happened almost a month ago, the news of a shooter killing 50 worshippers at a New Zealand mosque still haunts the people within these walls. <laughs> it prompted a visit and a moving Facebook post from Burlington's police chief, Brandon Del Pozo. Quote, I imagined the prayer being disrupted by gunfire from a weapon designed for war. In New Zealand, they could not hope for help. No help came, and the killing only stopped when their killer left to go kill somewhere else. So hands on I saying, O Prophet of Allah. While they pray, Colchester police now stand watch. Everywhere there is the people, you know, some bad people, doesn't matter color or religion. Or but for Najat, the good outweighs the bad. Yeah, these are all the cards that we received and just some of these cards, we, there's more over there. Like friends and neighbors showing these ambassadors of faith, they're not alone. Uh, the table was full of the flowers. And while hate, in some form, will always exist outside these walls, <laughs> inside, there will always be peace. Share the sun, share the planet, this planet, and share this earth. Doesn't matter color or religion, you know. Megan Carpenter, Local 44 News, Colchester. Quite a message. By the way, the donation box inside the mosque has had three break-ins since September. The latest happening at the beginning of last month. And Colchester police are still looking for who did that. So if you know anything, if you have any helpful information, Colchester PD is asking you to give them a call.